What's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to turn your Raspberry Pi into an awesome little open source media center using OSMC, which stands for Open Source Media Center. Now this is really easy to install. Basically what we have here is a minimal Linux operating system with a pre-installed custom version of Kodi. Now you can switch between the OSMC interface that looks like this or the regular Kodi interface if you ever want to. There are hundreds of legal video, picture, and music add-ons that we can install from the built-in repositories or you could add your own repository and add some other add-ons that a lot of people use with Kodi. In this video I'm just going to be focusing on the stuff that's in the built-in repository that we can access very easily. You can also use your own USB drive, external hard drive, or NAS to stream your own videos that you have pre-downloaded to this OS here. There's a few things we're going to need before we get started here. Everything will be linked to Amazon in the description in case you don't already own it. You can pick it up from there. First up, Raspberry Pi. I recommend using the 3B+, Plus, but a 2 or 3 will work. You're also going to need a power adapter for the Raspberry Pi. It's a micro USB in, 5 volt, 2.5 amps or better. And finally, for the Pi side, we're going to need a micro SD card. 8 gigabyte, 16, 32, 64, all the way up to 256 will work. You can buy a kit that contains everything you need to get up and running on Amazon. Like I mentioned, links will be down below. You're also going to need something to control the interface on the Raspberry Pi. Keyboard and mouse works fine. You can use an Air Mouse remote or a Bluetooth game controller. I recommend a PS4 controller. This part is totally optional, but you might want a nice looking Raspberry Pi case. One of my favorites here is the Flirt case. They offer the all black version with the Kodi logo on top or the older silver version. These also act as a heatsink for the Pi to keep it cool. So we're going to go ahead and install OSMC to the SD card. To do this, we're going to need a separate computer. You can use a Windows, Mac, or Linux machine. We're going to flash OSMC to the SD card. When we're done, we'll pull that SD card back out of the PC, place it into the Pi, power it up. All right, so let's go ahead and install OSMC on the SD card so we can run it on the Raspberry Pi. I've already placed my SD card inside of my PC. I'm just using a 32 gigabyte PNY card. Like I mentioned, an 8 gigabyte or larger SD card will work, but these 32 gigabyte cards are really cheap nowadays on Amazon, so I'd recommend going with at least a 32. First thing we want to do is head over to the links in the description. OSMC.tv. From here, we're going to find download and we're going to choose Raspberry Pi. If you're on a Windows machine, download this installer. If you're on a Mac, OS X installer. If you're on Linux, download this one. We're on Windows here, so we're going to go ahead and click on download. Comes down really quick. I'm going to place it on my desktop. I'm going to right click and I want to run this as administrator. Here's the installer interface, really easy to use, very self-explanatory. The language, English. What would you like to install OSMC on? Raspberry Pi. There's also an option for the Raspberry Pi 1 or Raspberry Pi 0, but we're doing a 3B+, so we're going to choose the Raspberry Pi 2 slash 3. Click Next. Please select which version you would like. We're going to go with the latest one here. and We're going to click Next. We're going to install this on an SD card. From here, we could set up our wireless network so we don't have to do any setup on the Pi, but a lot of people aren't going to know their SSID or anything like that, so I'm just going to leave wired checked. We're going to click Next. From here, we need to select the SD card we want to flash to. Make sure you're choosing the correct drive. If we take a look here, this is my SD card. It's drive D. Yours may be different. Drive D. Click Next. Accept the license agreement. Next. And it's going to start downloading OSMC. It might ask you if you want to re-download it. Just go ahead and click Yes. If this is the first time you're using it, you might not be prompted for anything. When it's finished downloading, it's going to prompt you one more time. Are you sure you want to erase this SD card? I'm going to click yes. It's going to write the image to the SD card and we're almost done here. The SD card is finished flashing. All we need to do is hit quit. 
take the SD card out of our PC, plug it into our Raspberry Pi. We're also going to plug in the HDMI to our display, our keyboard and mouse or controller, whatever you're using. And we're going to boot the Raspberry Pi up. To boot the Pi, just plug it in. If you bought a power supply with a switch, turn the switch on. The first boot's going to take a little longer than normal because it needs to format the SD card and install all the files for us. So just give it a little time to finish up. It's going to automatically reboot into the OSMC interface. So on your first startup, it's going to bring you to a menu that looks like this. We're going to choose our region and our language. If you're using a keyboard, just use your arrow keys and press enter. Are you sure? Yes. We're also going to have to choose our time zone. You can give your device a new name if you'd like. I'm going to stick with OSMC and accept. You can enable the SSH server. I'm going to disable mine because I'm not going to be using it on this Pi. Click accept. You might want to read through their terms of service. Click continue. You now need to set up your network because we didn't do it earlier when we did the install. So I'd like to set up my network manually. I want to use Wi-Fi, so over on the very left-hand side, I'm going to scroll down to Wireless and enable my adapter. Now we can choose the network we would like to connect to. We'll have to put in our password. I'm now connected, so I'm going to go over to Exit. Look and feel. OSMC, which I really like, or we can go with the classic Cody look. It's really up to you. I'm going to go with OSMC. You can sign up for their newsletter if you'd like to. And now we're going to exit. We now have OSMC set up and ready to use on our Raspberry Pi. I'm going to go over a few things like installing video and music add-ons. I'm also going to show you how to run your own videos from an external drive. First up, we're going to install some add-ons. From the main menu, we're going to scroll down here. To settings. From here, we're going to find add on browser. Install from repository. And we can choose which one we'd like here. If we want music add ons, we're going to go in here. And I'll just press enter. Install. It's going to install for us. We'll do one more here. There's a lot to choose from. I'm just not going to go through the whole list. Now we're going to back up by pressing backspace on our keyboard. And we want to find some videos, so we're going to go to Video Add-ons. Again, there's tons of stuff to choose from. I'll install ABC Family. Install. Adult Swim. And now this part's really up to you. Find what you'd like to install and install it. If we go all the way down to the bottom, YouTube. Go ahead and install this. There's a lot of sports, there's weather, there's all kinds of stuff in here to choose from. And like I mentioned in the beginning, if you want to install other add-ons, just do a quick Google search. You can find tons of them. We're going to back out of here from the main menu, music, music add-ons. Here's the add-ons we just installed. I'm going to back up, videos, video add-ons. And here we are. So we'll go to YouTube real quick. You can sign into YouTube or go to Popular Right Now or even Search. So we'll go with a search real quick. And from here, we can watch YouTube videos. What's going on guys? The CTA Prime back. If you want to pause today, I'm going to show you press your space bar and we'll just back out. So that's it for video add-ons. You just need to find something you'd like. Now I'm going to show you how to play media from an external drive. So you want to watch some videos from an external drive. I have a two terabyte USB 3.0 drive plugged in right now. I'm going to go to videos, files, and here's my drive. You can just scroll through here, and let's see, uh, that's 4K, it's not going to play well on here. Let me see if I can find, here we go. We'll go with this. This was just a screen capture I did of the NVIDIA Jetson Nano. In the 21st 
And that's how you play media from an external drive. You can do this with music, pictures, or anything really. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you have OSMC up and running on your Raspberry Pi. Now, there are tons of different media centers that you can use. This was just a different one that I wanted to show you guys. I enjoy using this one. You can go with Kodi if you want to, or you could use OSMC and Kodi mode so you have that skin. It's really up to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to leave some links to the OSMC forum and Amazon links for everything you need to get up and running. It'd be really cool if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel, but like always, thanks for watching.